Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. Okay? I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, taken from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay? As I have said... So shall it be. The judgment is final. Okay. I'm going to change things up a little bit today and do all oracle cards ahead because I have someone cutting the videos off when I get to a specific point. So I don't get to do my oracle cards and things like that. I'm trying to hide some information, but we'll get into it. Okay. It said, don't hold back. Release what no longer serves you for new growth. Move forward now. Okay. Okay. Here, yeah, I'll put this up here. Okay. Hey, why don't I do this today? All right. It's a higher wisdom. Explore options. Learn what you can and expand your horizon. Turn the page. Okay. Hidden keys. Put things together piece by piece to reveal the bigger picture. Important parts. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the read. You have someone or a group, maybe a family out here, that are trying to hide something. So you could be doing something or saying something, whether in your workplace, somewhere, platform, whatever it is. And they are trying to shut you up, trying to hide something, but it's already out in the open. So I don't know why these people are still trying to get away with something is already out in the open. So if they've been trying to shut you up, block some type of opportunity, whatever this is, people already know. It's that you have multiple characters involved in something. You could have an ex, family members, friends, frenemies, co-workers, ex-co-workers, all doing the same thing to shut someone up and block them. And then you have a dominant figure in there, uh, the lowest of lowest vibrational energy, that's throwing some type of temper. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> Ooh, my ancestors have started again. <laughs> Someone is throwing some type of fit behind the scenes because things are not going their way. Maybe a decision was made to bring balance into a situation or they don't like the fact that someone is supporting you. Someone is advocating for you. Someone wants to work with you. Someone sees that you're someone that's genuine. Uh, they don't want someone to see you in this light okay yeah someone has foresight of the situation they understand exactly what the heck is going on someone has had a group of people living under an illusion for quite a long time and now that people are waking up and seeing things for what it is they don't want to partake in something now mind you you do have a group of people in this whatever this is this collaboration that are still wanting to keep something going and then you have other people that are moving on with their life because this is just ridiculous. Someone is overbearing and some people find them as really annoying. Um, so people may start kind of turning on this person. Someone is about to lose quite a lot of bit of alliances because their ego, the narcissism within this person is just a little bit too much. It's that people know why someone is doing something and they don't agree with it. So they're trying to tell this person to stop it, let go. It's like they've been trying to stop someone from doing something or they don't want to participate in something. But I don't know if someone has some type of authoritative power over these people. So he or she is trying to force them into participating in something they don't want to be a part of. Okay. When this initially started, there were people in here that thought it was funny. Um, these are the lower vibrational side of the group. The ones that, and they still think it's funny. Some of them still think it's funny. What's interesting is that these kind of people, they will do something, but they don't think about how it's going to affect their future. So something may give you momentary pleasure, like you may feel good about doing it right now, 
But down the line, you got to think, how is this going to play out? What's going to happen in the future, right? So people are moving on because the truth is being revealed about you, that you are someone who is an empress, a genuine character, something like that. You could also have someone's wife in here that may have some type of issues coming up, right? Because she kind of hung herself. Uh, someone has hung themselves in a way that they can't even get out of something, maybe trying to kind of skip something now, but they can't. So this is very interesting, okay? Someone, I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know if like two people got married for money or someone is just really, um, what is the word? Someone is just really broken. Like a wife character is just really broken. But if people have been trying to stop you and another energy from coming together, it is absolutely going to be taking place. Someone, um, for some of you, yeah, it is going to be taking place. And this is judgment. Like a decision has been made, okay? A decision has been made and it is final. The decision was made in the spirit realm and then it has manifested in the physical. So whatever decision was made to allow two people to come together is something that's final and there's nothing anyone can do about it. So you may have had people behind the scenes because you two come, come from two different walks of life. Maybe they didn't want you two coming together, right? So someone that's a higher up within either an organization, a family or something like that, has made the decision to allow two people to come together, um, whatever this is, okay? Yeah, They've made, yeah, someone who's in the higher up has made some type of decision to allow. Now, I don't understand the whole allow part. They kind of seem like you're, you have to, I don't know, that kind of seems like you're disempowered in some way, shape or form when someone has to permit a relationship to be it seems that you're disempowered. I don't know if someone is part of some type of organization where there's like a chain of command when it comes to not just their professional life, but their personal life as well, as far as who they can communicate with, who they can uh, uh, romantically get involved with. There's something like that going on, okay? But someone has defeated all of this nonsense. Um, I don't know if someone's family was going up against them, trying to block their forward movement, uh, causing some type of uh, conflict for this person because they didn't want this person connecting with you. I'm telling you, they didn't want this person connecting with you, okay? So this family is not happy about the decision that has been made. Either someone decided, yeah, I am going to go and connect with that person. Yeah, this fell and fell in the reverse. I am going to go and connect with this person or... I'm moving on with my life. I don't want to be part of this anymore. But there's something that has, that has excuse me, there is some type of decision that has been made. Um, and it, it is in regards to either a family that has been partaking, partaking in something. Um, and also with a couple, I don't know if this is two people coming together or a couple going through some type of ending. Okay. And someone, because of this decision that has been made, they may have to kind of reconsider their alliances kind of think of how they're going to be moving forward. Someone is kind of exposed as a liar. They may still be trying to hide some of the things that they've done behind the scenes, but everything is coming out. Someone is being seen as a bold-faced liar, someone who is very critical and judgmental of other people. This could be a situation where some of you were placed in someone's energy so that it could mentor you, but instead of mentoring you, someone took advantage of the situation and painted you out to be an unhinged character possibly like not mentally stable or something like that, okay? Um, so there's quite a lot going on here. There's a queen of swords in the reverse has just been seen for who she is. This woman could be throwing some type of fit behind the scenes. Yeah, she's throwing some type of fit behind the scenes because you and this person coming together, having this rebirth is leading to some type of ending for her. I don't know if someone trusted this woman to be someone of high character, do the right thing, whatever this is, but it's turning out that she's not. And so you two coming together or a judgment being made in this situation to bring balance into it is leading to some type of ending for this woman. And this is something that she did not count on. There's some type of truth that has been exposed. Yeah, she she's hanging in the air right now. Someone is like dangling. There's, I don't know if there's some type of waiting period where she's waiting to see what they're going to say but the decision has always already been made this is that someone making a decision and she's hoping you're going to change their mind whoever made the decision is not changing their mind it is final it's final okay 
is final. So if a if a, a family saw so they had victory over uh, like a, a empress, a star sea, or whatever, or an emperor, it was a short lived victory because balance is being brought into this situation. It's like they went from celebrating to immediately having some type of disappointment because this ten of pentacles. If you two are meant to work together. It is still coming into being and it may be some of you you may not end up working with this masculine it's going to be you partnering up with a new person and building your own alliances and things like that genuine friendship so you're going to be celebrating here soon right someone has been trying to make your work look like it's something false i, I don't know if this is like a a a, a that you work at a company and someone wants people to believe that you don't know what you're doing you're not you're not committed to your work you're lazy you don't really do what you're supposed to do but the truth is out and someone is being seen as a liar this could be something someone did in the past as well and the truth is coming out so you may have had a family that maybe tried to block your ten of pentacles block any type of support and things like that from coming towards you so if people wanted to work with you they've been trying to block that but balance has been brought in here like there's some type of justice taking place and people are not happy about that like the low vibrational one is that someone has some type of problem where they don't want you to succeed in life because they don't want you to have some type of advantage over them or something like that they don't want you to have more money than them. They don't want you to be more successful than they are. There's something like that. I don't know why they're so focused on you, but there are quite a few people in here. They are very much focused on you trying to block your new beginning. It's like every time you are supposed to uh, 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 have some type of fresh start, they get in there and they block something. And this is what they've been trying to hide from the public or hide from an organization or hide from a group of people is that they've been taking all of these malicious actions behind the scenes to block your forward movement and then telling people that you don't know what you're doing or whatever it is that you're doing does not have any value. It's not that it doesn't have value, it's that people are tempering with, with your work. Even if you work a nine to five, you have your own business, you have your own platform, there's something going on with it why, why, where uh, people are tempering with it to make it look like it's not fruitful, it's not going anywhere, it's just something that's like for a hobby. It's not for a hobby. Whatever you're doing is very important. It's very essential. It may be like your life path, like your, your purpose, right? And people are tempering with that. And this is leading to some type of ending for them that they did not see coming. Just like I said, they experienced some type of short-lived victory. It was not long-lasting. So here they are. Maybe they thought they were about, about to have some type of, uh, you know, a, a new start or something using your money. Or uh, they were celebrating that they have blocked your new beginning or something, and it looks like they're the one going through some type of setback. Okay, so if people were out here hopeful that you were going to shut up, you were going to just go uh, crawl in a corner and cry, or crawl in a cave and cry. No, you still have alliances coming in. So whatever it is they've been blocking, the universe is replenishing that ten times full. So it could be that these people were doing you a favor by blocking these opportunities from coming to you because maybe the energies that were coming to you with these opportunities were not genuine, right? So you will be working with other people behind, um, not behind, but after this or oh, whatever, I don't know what the heck this is. This is like overwhelming. It's like the the mindset, the mindset is really conflicting because I don't I don't understand why a group of people are this invested in blocking another person. There's something here about greed, selfishness, insecurity, something like that. That will explain why these people are so invested. And someone told a lot of lies in the other in order to keep the lie going. They are doing a whole lot behind the scenes, not realizing that they are being watched. Someone is watching this person, and this is someone of high character. They don't care how much money you have because someone is used to being able to pay people to shut up or to use or used to paying people to getting them to go along with whatever it is they're doing, their operations of doing things, right? But there's a high vibrational person in this situation. This person may not be aware of, and they've been watching this situation play out the whole time. And they're going to be bringing something to your awareness, right? Bringing some type of balance into a situation. You may even have someone in here that wants to reconcile with you. 
because now they have a higher understanding of what has been going on. Maybe some of you are not even aware, and that's because you're so protected uh, by your angels and your ancestors. They are doing what they can to protect you and to make sure that you're not going through any conflict. So these could be people that have been going out of the way, out of their way to get you out of balance. Like they want you living in some type of anxiety and things like that. There could be someone in here as well that deals with PTSD. There's something like that or like anxiety, something like that, some type of traumatic experience that they had and it has left some type of effect on them. Um, this could be a feminine character, a masculine. I don't know who this is. I'm getting more so of a masculine character. Hopefully they can get the help to heal from that. But there may be some type of reconciliation taking place through people coming together. Um, I will be mindful with some of you with connecting with anyone from this group because someone in here could have betrayed you heavily and they're, they are going through some type of loss and they believe coming to worship is going to bring balance into that situation. There could be a Sagittarius in here. Um, I feel like there could be, be like a Cap Capricorn, a, a Pisces as well. There is something going on here where it's just the balance is being brought into this situation. So them not being able to move forward, them not having victory over you, uh, them not getting their wish fulfillment is just this imbalance being brought into this situation, right? So their will is moving in the direction it's supposed to. There's something where people were trying to hinder. It's like basically people don't want you moving forward. You could have like an ex in here that just does not want you moving forward. So they've been doing things behind the scenes to block all opportunities for you. And this is someone that's very insecure. This could be like a masculine that's very insecure within himself. Uh, someone feels that they're, I don't know if someone feels entitled to an uh, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, ex-whatever, ex-friends with benefits, whatever this is, they feel entitled to you. Like someone is like a, has like a warlock mentality, okay? They have a warlock mentality and then you're in this energy. So they think that they should have control of you. And there are, there are quite a few people in here, masculines, that think that they should have control of you. You have a queen of swords in the reverse as well. She has this same mentality because she does not want you to be higher ranking than her, which you already are. There's nothing she can do about this. Um, whether she's actually a queen of swords, queen of uh, wands, queen of pentacles, uh, uh, empress in the reverse, whether she's any of those things, there's someone in this group that is bothered by the fact that you could be higher ranking than her, but you already are in the spirit. She does not want that to manifest in the physical, but in a sense, you really already are because things manifest in the spirit first before they manifest in the physical. So if it's something that's already taking place in the spirit, that means it's, or it's going to be coming in the physical and there's nothing she can do to stop that, okay? Because why you, I mean, you're focused on your life. You're not focused on these people. And that's the part that's kind of causing me some type of blockage. It's like, why are they this focused on you? And I always sum this these types of behaviors up to insecurity because only insecure people do things like this. Only people that are living under some type of illusion do things like this and they don't see the problem with it. There are people around them that see the problem, but they don't see it. And the people that see the problem, there could be like a friend group that sees this problem and it may start pissing them off and it's going to, it's going to lead to some type of conflict because people don't like how something is going. It's like people are trying to block you. You're not doing anything to these people. Whatever you're doing, they do see the value in it. But someone is a narcissist in here and they want to keep something going where it's like they're blocking you because they don't want you to be seen in a higher light, like a positive light. They don't want you, they don't want people seeing you as someone that has anything to contribute to society. But in reality, the person that's doing all of that is the one that has nothing to contribute to society. All they know how to do is be toxic. And people are kind of fed up with this person. And I don't think they know that. So they may want to thread with caution because they could do end up doing something that's going to piss someone off and it's going to leave them in a jam they won't be able to come out of. Um, someone in here could like be uh, misusing their, uh, their position, their authority, their power, something like that. And I think people are getting to the point where they don't care what their position is. They just don't want to be part of this anymore because this situation has taken over their lives. It's like, I want to get back to my life. I have my kids to take care of. 
I have my work to pay attention to. I have my own dreams I want to pay attention to. I don't care what this person has going on. This person is not paying us any mind. We're trying to undo someone and they're just, they just keep going forward. Someone is like, someone is like some, the people, some people, excuse me, people in this group, like they're seeing things for what it is. Like you are moving on with your life. You've moved on or you're just focused on your life. And you have someone behind the scenes that just won't let go for some reason. Some of you, you didn't even have, you did not have like a, a relationship with this person. Someone is just like obsessed with you. And this obsession has become really dangerous because someone, your whole life, their whole life revolves around you. Like someone is obsessed. You should not be obsessed with another human being to this level. But your someone's life, like you consume someone's entire day from the time they wake up. They, this person may even be dreaming about you. And they've been stalking you, doing things behind the scenes. And the fact that it's out now, someone is now even more unhinged because they want to prove that they're not obsessed with you. But every action they take is proving to people that they are obsessed with you. Someone needs to go seek like guidance or professional help or something because their behavior is getting really dangerous. Like someone is real desperate to be around you. And there could be, there's someone who is like in the upright that may be assisting you behind the scenes to make sure this person does not come around you because someone, literally someone is unhinged. Someone is unhinged. Someone is unhinged and they're trying to come into your life to shake you up you could have even another masculine like you have a couple of people that are just wanting to come into your energy to shake you up and this is you the whole time focusing on your life your pentacles and your angels are making sure that you don't you know lose your cool lose your temper i don't even think you care because you're not paying these people any mind there's something where it's like it's going on and your ancestors are intervening on your behalf so you may not even know a lot of what's going on because you're so focused on your forward movement like you're taking charge and things like that and someone is upset about a decision that has been made that has been that has been made to let you go on with your life because people are seeing the truth you didn't do anything to deserve what these people are doing right and someone someone is just stuck on fathering a false narrative like like they're just oh my gosh this person is exhausting like their mindset is exhausting it's exhausting is that someone wakes up every day trying to figure out how they can interfere with your life how they can get into your energy how they can send you negative energy i wouldn't be surprised if someone does some type of ritual where they summon some type of negative energy and they don't have a way to feed that energy now so that energy may be attached to them I don't know what the heck this is. Someone is doing some type of magic or manipulation behind the scenes and it's not going on, going in their favor. And this is because of a decision they made because someone just refuses to grow up. Like someone is exhausting. The people around them are exhausted. Oh my gosh. The people are losing their patience with this person. Like, oh my gosh. Like I can feel their frustration. They are losing their patience with this person like you are free to go you are being set free the truth is out someone may have said or did something that illuminated the truth so you are free to go is that someone was able to manipulate people in a way where it allowed them to have some type of control over you or power over you and now that the truth has been exposed and a decision has been made uh-huh <laughs> it's driving them bonkers because someone does not see you as a person. They see you as a source of food, like energy that they can use to manifest in their lives. But whatever it is they've even managed to manifest off of you, it's been taken away from them. They're not able to keep it. It's like the fool's gold. I think I've used that analogy before. You know, the pirates, they see the fool's gold. It looks up beautiful. There's a whole lot of it. And they go, they collect it, put it in those, into these chests and things like that to take it home, only for it to turn to dust or something like that. That's what someone here did. They were feeding off of you, manifesting off of you, and everything they gained 
off of you without your permission or your awareness is being stripped away from each and every person because you didn't give authority. You did not give permission for anyone to, to gain anything off of your energy. So whatever your enemies have gained off of you without your intention by using your energy, it's all being taken away from them. And by that, someone is falling so far from grace, it's ridiculous. Someone's someone's losing like their stability. Meanwhile, everything they're trying to do to you, you're still staying committed. And honey, a decision has been made about your work. Like you're moving forward. There's nothing this person can do to hinder you anymore. And if they keep trying to come after you, they're not going to like what happens. Like someone has put themselves in something in a very dangerous place and they don't realize that. They're still out here being unhinged, but they don't realize the people around them are sick and tired of them. Yeah, they need to move on. I'm telling you, move on. Someone's very impulsive. Someone is very impulsive. Very, very impulsive. But they don't realize they've angered the wrong person. They've angered the wrong person. And it's about to like be shown to them that you don't have the alliances that you think you have. We don't support you in what you're doing. We're fed up with this situation. You need to move on. Okay? Move on. So your ancestors want you to know, Collective, you have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, you have nothing to worry about. This chapter is over. All of the lies, the trickery, the manipulation, people criticizing you unjustly, people lying on you and things like that, it's all done. It's over. It is over. The truth is being revealed about them, who they really are, their true character and things like that. This is so ridiculous. Why are people this invested in one person? This is a form of magic, but it's, it's the kind of magic this is, it's like play school, playground magic like oh my gosh the mindset i don't get how these people minds operate it's it just seems so childish childish i'm telling you it's childish this is like some childish things going on and there are people in here that are finally waking up to see what it is they've been participating in but you have a narcissist in here that is still set on destroying your pathway. And honey, everything they're doing is leading to this for them. They're hanging themselves. They've pissed someone off behind the scenes and I don't think they realize that. They've pissed someone off. And, and, and if they are not careful, someone is going to come after them in, with all force. Like they're not gonna hold back. It's like someone's telling them, you forgot who the heck I am. You forgotten who I am. Just because I choose not to be that way anymore, you forgotten what I'm capable of. Someone is about to be checked in a way where they like they don't even see it coming. It's going to humble. I'm telling you, it's going to humble them. Someone is about to lose everything for coming for you. Everything. Everything. They're like someone is just upset because the truth, they're exposed. The truth is out. They can't hide it anymore. They can't pretend anymore. Like someone is living in fear and anxiety, but they feel like they have to take you down. It's their life's mission to take you down. That's not your life mission. If anyone told you that it's your purpose to come on this planet to destroy someone else's path, that's a lie. That's a lie. You are on a solo mission. I'm telling you, it's a lie. So someone must have told these people that they, they are solely here to destroy your pathway. And it's a lie. This is an illusion. Why would the Most High allow you to come and incarnate just to be destructive? Make it make sense. Why would the consoles go through all of those meetings with you just so you can come and be destructive? You've been led astray. Someone in here does not know their purpose and don't have the energy, the desire, or the ambition to figure out their purpose and even go after it. And someone is dealing with a lot of wounds they don't want to address. So they go around destroying other people's future. And those of you that are in this group with this person, that's exactly what you're doing. You are destroying your future because something may feel 
good right now in the moment that you are doing it but i guarantee you a hundred percent there's a time coming where you're going to regret what you partook in okay so someone someone in here cannot lie anymore because people don't have time like everything is being pulled to a halt is it not we we are done we are done there are people walking away okay there was some type of miscalculation here there was some type of miscalculation here people are falling from grace people are losing their abundance their stability this in this uh institution is not supporting someone whoever this is if he or she was working in an institution they're not assisting this person anymore the family has turned to back they're back on this person they're like um yeah we don't want that around here anymore we want to go back to a time of peace and quiet tranquility so an uh, institution is shutting someone out so someone may end up losing a lot of money their job their position their ranking someone is about to lose everything everything because they won't grow up you could have an institution that's even losing a lot of money i'm telling you they're falling from grace. They're going through some type of uh, 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 fall from grace, basically. I was trying to find another term to use, but that's all that came out. There could, this could be like an institution that's very abundant or a family that's very abundant, a couple that's very abundant, but there's a change going on in their finances. They're, they're going from living in Beverly Hills to living in the South, <laughs> the south Side, not in a deluxe apartment, honey. They, they, they're someone has depleted their finances, their alliances, they've exhausted their alliances and networks and things like that. No one wants to have to deal with these people, this person, this couple, whatever this is. People don't want to deal with them anymore. I remember I did a reading not too long ago, and I did make do a warning where I said someone was going to lose, lose their alliances if they didn't stop doing something, and it looks like they didn't listen. They kept going. Someone is losing alliances and they're losing their stability. They're losing their stability and they know this too. They know this. So while you are coming out of poverty, this person wants you to feel like you're not going anywhere or these people, this family, they want you to feel like you're not going anywhere. They're the ones not going anywhere because they've depleted their resources and things like they're coming after you. Uh, this is one of the situations where you know people have money and they keep paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement and the universe will let them go so far until they are done spending all of their money someone even went into their savings savings account believe it or not to get money out of there to go pay someone to block you to pay a practitioner it don't make no sense okay meanwhile you're coming out of the cold and you're almost at your victory you just need to keep going like maybe you have one more thing to do but in the spirit realm we don't know how long that one thing is or what that one thing is but you just need to keep going your victory is already here you will have success you're coming out of the cold and stepping into abundance and you have foresight of this whole situation you could have warned these people i'm telling you you could have warned these people at some point just like i predicted on my channel about someone losing alliances and they're going through this right now people are fed up with someone behind the scenes and i don't know if he or she knows that but they're fed up with you okay this is what's up ahead up ahead of you or you could currently be going through that and it could have been avoidable if you would have left something alone but you're a narcissist and you don't know how to leave things alone i'm telling you you should have left something alone but someone kept going and going and going and going. They didn't want to stop until you were flat out broke, homeless, possibly not here. Because someone is that broken on the inside that they made it their life's mission to destroy another person. Someone is upset that they lost, I don't know, con con uh, uh, contact with you or something or control of. Stuff like that pissed me off. Who the heck do you think you are to have control over another person? Someone is upset because they were under some type of illusion that they had control over you, but they're realizing they never had control over you. They just didn't know you. 
So they may have went around telling people that you were easy to manipulate. You are not mentally stable. You know, you are on the R side of things. And people are finding out it's not true. This person doesn't know you at all. Some of you who have been living with someone for 10 years or something, and they never put in the work to get to know you, but they're out here because they're vengeful and unhappy that you left or they left the relationship ship came to an end and you didn't want to get back with them. They thought it was going to be like a rebound situation where you two will get together, split up, get together, split up. Honey, I don't do stuff like that, particularly for me. It's, an, it's a headache. If, we, if we're done today, we're done for good. There ain't no going back and forth. That's a waste of my time. So someone thought you were going to be a rebound to one another, breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together, but that's not what happened. And someone may have even left and got into some type of union with someone and it didn't work out, possibly with like a queen of wands in the reverse. And he's pissed off because things are not working out. You were the actual one that was that was the wish fulfillment. Someone is finding this out. They may have replaced you with someone that's a nightmare, but they have to be there. That's the choice they made. Someone made your bed, so they have to lay in it, but you're the one that's business savvy. You're the one with the success. And because now they know that whoever they partner up with is not successful, not gonna be successful, doesn't have money, they're not happy with this person, they're trying to destroy your fulfillment, your wish fulfillment, trying to destroy your work, trying to destroy your pathway, all kinds of stuff. But your ancestors are stepping in and a decision has been made that you're going to keep what is yours. You're not out here trying to steal from people, block people and things like that. So this is a burden for someone with, with this decision being made. And it has been made loud and clear to them. We don't have a problem with this person. They don't do anything to us. We got to restore balance to our community, something like that. And it's causing them a burden. I'm telling you, it's causing them a burden and they're trying to figure out how else they can freaking block you with no help. They said, how can I do this by myself? So someone may end up being blocked out of your energy. They can't come around you anymore because it's just too much. It's annoying at this point. I don't know if some of you were dating like an occultist and you didn't know this person was an occultist, something like that, or they joined some type of cult while you two are kind of at the end of your connection together and they started coming after you. It's really biting them in the behind because these people are rejecting them now. It's like, uh, yeah. It was cute when we were doing this in the beginning and we got some type of fulfillment out of it, but we're not getting fulfillment out of it anymore. The money you said we would get out of here, we're not getting that money. So we don't want to be part of this anymore. Our lives are being, you know, destroyed because we're coming after this person. Everything we try to do to them is happening to us. We don't want to be part of this anymore. That someone may be sympathizing with you and you don't know it, collective, but they're done with this situation. Like someone needs to grow up. I'm telling you, someone want, may want to uh, sympathize with you. Like someone sees things from a higher perspective. They are self-actualizing in this situation and they're seeing things for exactly what it is. So whoever this unhinged person is, creature is, they may want to back off because they're going to F around and piss up the wrong person. And it's going to it's gonna come back and bite them in the behind because this is someone that could end up ending them, like throw them in jail, uh, uh, black ball them, make sure they can't get work in the state they are in or even maybe in the country, something like that. Like someone is very high ranking and if they get pissed off enough, they can become a nightmare for you. I'm telling you, you'll be stuck having financial insecurities. Like you need to back off. Back off of whatever you're doing because you it's not going to end pretty for you. It is not going to end pretty for you. Let's hope it's not someone in the justice system because then you're screwed. Because these mother suckers don't play. You piss them off one too many times, they're done. They'll steal your fit. So you may want to back off. <clears throat> Someone may even have legal issues going on now and they can't find their way out of it. Maybe they have to pay money to the courts. They don't have the money to pay it to the courts. So it's that they may end up having to do time 
but the time they're doing it really has nothing to do with what they did to you but the most high had to set up that way for some of these people they can they did all this stuff to you didn't get caught for it and then something from their past is being brought up it said hey 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 yeah we remember you did this in 1995 yeah 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 you're gonna you got to do time you got to do time you you thought this situation was dead and gone we forgot about it we won't go on the press charges we've been looking for you right we've been looking for you we've been building evidence and things like that yeah you got to do time and then this is them this is them you need to cut your loss and move on because you're pissing someone off behind the scenes, you do not want to be pissing off. You do not want to piss this person off. And you're there. So maybe someone may be giving you a leeway for you to shut the heck up or calm down. Or go drink some milk or something and go to sleep. Because whoever this is that I'm getting, they don't play around. They are, <laughs> honey, they are with the BS and not with the BS. You don't want to piss people like that off. I'm telling you. You don't want to piss this person off because they'll have you out. Flat out. I don't know who you are, but you need to chill. This is your future. If you keep going on the road or path that you are on, if you're tempering around with someone's income, their resources, their position at work, their business, their platform, whatever you're doing, you may want to stop. You may want to chill. You've already lost a lot doing this. You've already lost a lot doing this. And you're going to lose more if you keep going. Because there's someone watching you. There could be like an FBI agent watching you. CIA. Cop. Some, there's someone watching you. And they know everything you've been doing. So as soon as you... I don't know if you're trying to force yourself into someone's energy because you're getting real desperate. The moment you try to do that, you're done. So whatever you're doing, planning, you, maybe you and your pals are planning to end someone, it's not going to go the way you think. This is going to be you. A lot of you. Out. Cold. DNR. Not getting back up. Do not resuscitate. There will be no one there to even resuscitate you. You may want to back off. This is what you are planning for someone, is to have them out in the cold. You hired someone to unalive someone. <laughs> yeah, you you hire someone. I'm telling you, it's not going to go the way you are planned. Reconsider your plans. Think things over. Come up with a different plan that has to do with leaving people alone. <laughs> because this is you. Disappointment in the future. Whatever plan you're coming up with to disturb someone's peace, someone's finances, resources, livelihood, and this is going to be you. That's going to be you. I, there is some, there's a, I don't know who this person is behind the scenes that's watching you all, but they have the full one, one, everything, the full one, one, 911 on you all, everything you can think of, they have it. And they're just sitting back and waiting for you all to come through with this plan to unalive someone. Because you all have been doing something real desperate behind the scenes to have someone out in the cold so that they don't have any type of income coming in or anything. Someone's been creating a path of their own or committing themselves to some type of new position or some type of position they have in a company. And you all have been going out of your way to destroy that person's pathway opportunities and things like that you want them living in poverty and this man is just sitting back waiting for you all to come in trying to analyze someone because you're so desperate to make a statement make an example out of someone it's going to be the worst mistake you all ever make worst mistake don't do that don't do it don't do that don't do that that's when they slap you all with time you didn't even know existed I'm telling you, don't do it. You're going to get cut. You are going to get cut. You are going to get cut. It's a miscalculation. Whatever you're planning is a miscalculation. Do not do it. You will get cut or you all already got cut. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
This is like a warning for you. Don't do it. This car keeps coming up. Don't do it. You all pay someone to have someone on a live or to steal something from someone, block something for someone. Don't do it. This is you. You're going to get cut. This is a miscalculation. This is the wrong move. Leave someone the heck alone. I don't know who or who you're coming after, but leave them alone. Huh. You still want to go for it. I told you what's going to happen. I'm telling you. Leave it alone. You're going to be trapped in something you can't get out of. And I mean time. And some of you are going to end up being in debt to the organizations that you are a part of because they're going to have to pay someone uh, compensation for what you do, which means you'll be trapped in this organization for the rest of your life. Don't do that. Don't do it. Move on with your life. You need to go find some professional help to heal because in, in nothing this serious. Nothing is this serious. Don't do that, baby. Don't do that. I don't know who's partnered up with you out of these people. If you are watching, you may want to walk away from this person because their miscalculations that you all are doing, this is it. This is where it's leading you. Something is being set up in a way where it's guaranteed. I'm telling you, it's guaranteed for you all to get caught just so you can have some type of consequence. Someone around you all feels invincible because they have some type of connection in the court system, in law enforcement. So they think they can just do anything and get away with it. No, baby. No, 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 no. There's a higher power than what you know. There's a higher power. There is a higher power and he does things accordingly. And he don't give a dang how he got to get you locked up, close this case. He don't care. He's going to make sure everybody gets the time they deserve. So if they say you deserve 30 years, he's going to make sure he has evidence that locks you up for 30 years. And he's going to make sure you serve every bit of that 30 years. So whatever this is, you may want to walk away, rethink things over because you all are being looked into. You are being looked into. Whoever this is, is gifted as well. So they don't just, they don't just rely on their practical and analytical skills that they learn in school or in the field. Someone is gifted spiritually, so he knows a little bit more than I'm telling you, he knows a little bit more than you all realize and i don't know if you even know this person he's not the typical fbi or cia cop or anything pi this is not the typical kind not the typical kind someone's very patient you all need to reflect on how this situation started and how it's been going you all have been taking actions to block someone but every time you block them what happens or you take action to block them what happens something gets better for them you take one, excuse me, someone does not want this to come out. You take one opportunity away from them, what happens? They get another one. You block up, you block connections for them, what happens? They get another connection that's better than the one that you took away. So every time you all take from this person, it just gets better and better for them. Why do you, why do you think that is? And you're still committing yourself. Why do you, I'm telling you, every time you all try to steal or take from someone, they're getting better and better more abundance better connection success and you keep getting cut this is not the first time you guys got cut doing something or you got cut doing something why keep doing something when it's not going in your favor you're, you're like you're like in some type of quick sin and you're sinking but you're more focused on you know pushing someone else down they're on solid ground you're in a quick sin you're sinking but you're more focused on getting to them somewhere, somehow, to pull them into the quicksand with you. No. You need to figure out how to get out of that quicksand. You're stuck. You're the one that's stuck, not the person that you're coming after. Someone is secure, whatever you all are doing. I'm telling you, they are secure. Their, their ancestors are protecting them while they manifest their new beginning because you guys have stolen a few new beginnings for them 
and they're being told you are secure to manifest whatever it is your heart desires just let us know what you want so there is nothing you all can do to block someone's forward movement i'm telling you someone is standing their ground they're focusing on their pentacles manifesting a new reality someone sees you off of who you are so some no one can come in and gas like this person to tell them oh you know i was just coming in to ask for forgiveness i would like to work with you this person don't want to work with any of you but they know exactly what you are about okay someone is manifesting abundance for themselves for themselves even though someone is skilled they're still open-minded to the endless possibilities of learning something uh, uh new and someone is paying another character to come in to get some type of friendship i don't know what in the world is wrong with you people it's not gonna work it's not gonna work someone is to heal whatever false friendship you're bringing someone is to heal someone is to heal okay for you to gas like them they've already closed this chapter you are are the only one still stuck in this chapter because this is you so if you're planning on coming in to pretend like you're you and you want to work things out this person already knows the truth about you okay you're not you you're still a liar you're still a liar i'm telling you you're still you're still stuck you're desperate you guys are desperate so whatever action you're taking this is where it's leading you being stuck being cut you are under surveillance right people see what you're doing paying other people to come into someone's energy you can't come into anyone to gaslight them they already know what the heck is going on okay they already know i don't know why people are disinvested why are you disinvested someone literally collected someone thinks they can come into your energy travel towards you to come and gas like you or you have a more sincere energy that's coming towards you to give you a, a genuine offer to secure you secure a victory for you okay you have someone behind the scenes that you don't know you've never met this person before possibly or maybe you've met them once before they're gonna come into your life to secure you and it, they don't have nothing to do with these people not a thing they don't have nothing to do with these people if you had some type of contract with someone in this company that contract has been void by the most high that contract has been void by the most high so these people are going <laughs> falling from grace you see this they went from the ten of pentacles five of pentacles four of pentacles baby it keeps getting worse I had to see what it would be if I kept going with this read. <laughs> Dang. Meanwhile, your victory is ensured. You're moving forward fast. Fast. Why are people this? I don't get it. I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure it out. Why is a group disinvested in blocking someone's life? You said someone was in or uh whatever this is you said someone was not smart you said someone had nothing to contribute to society that person didn't say they didn't have anything to contribute to society so why are you oh that's why you the lie the lie has to be believable you told a lie so you got to go above and beyond to farther that, that lie make sure that people believe you people still believe you because something's not adding up. People ask questions. I thought you told us this person was this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I said. This is what I said. Uh -uh, that's not what I remember you saying. Listen, that zero. First start for you, collective. Celebration. Okay? Alliances. Sailing on the karma waters. Okay? Excuse me. I just hit my mic. My mic. Okay? It's a... Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow where guidance and follow follow their guidance 
without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and, and prayer. Excuse me. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime on earth. I am a creator. Okay, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. And then this one, this is a beautiful picture. It's a broom. It's a clear mind. Sweep away any doubts that you have and know that you are right. Act with clarity. Okay. Anyways, with all of that said, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.